Hi everyone, the name is Eric Thor and I have a key big fear. I am a creator archetype and us creators, we creative types, we love to make things. No matter if it's YouTube videos, if it's writing art, if it's theories, if it's some kind of content or some kind of tool or innovation. No matter what you're creating, if you are a creative type and if your highest goal, your main quest in life is to create, then you are in the creator archetype. Now, if there's anything I've noticed is, is this fear in creators, the fear of having your work destroyed, the fear of losing what you have made, the fear of having your work ridiculed, the fear of having your work ignored, even worse, really. To feel, uh, to feel like you're not heard or not seen for what you do. To have your work not be original enough. And I think most creators want their work to be discovered on their own. We don't actively fall into this performer role or salesman role of marketing our own content. On the contrary, what I notice is creators tend to be many of us at least, a little self-destructive. We tend to be overly critical of our own work. We tend to be our own worst rivals. We tend to destroy and to maim our own work and to tell other people it's incomplete or tell other people it's not good enough yet. And in so doing so, distancing other people from our work and from what we do. So the biggest fear for a creator is this idea, this concept of the destroyer, the person that will destroy your work. And I think the key reason we self-destruct or destroy our own work or take down our videos or hide our blog posts is because of this fear of this approaching destroyer that will come, attack our work and take away what we've done. And in this fear, I think a lot of us tend to become the very thing we're afraid of. We become our own destroyers and we lift up and use our inferior functions to the purpose of self-destruction of our own work. And we tell ourselves it's not done yet, it's not good enough yet. We need to work harder on it, we need to improve at it before it can be accepted. But we are also kind of denying other people the possibility of judging our work. We are denying other people the possibility for telling us if it's good or bad. We're denying other people the chance to compliment us on the good things we've done and to appreciate what we do. And we do, of course, because I think we are a little attached to our quest and to being creators. And I think we feel if other people compliment on it or if other people appreciate something when we don't feel done yet, uh, we can't take the, crit the critique to heart. We can't accept the appreciation that we are getting for what we do. And so I worry, I have a warning for all creators and that is don't get into this spiral of creating content and taking it down. Don't do it like I did it. I have been a YouTuber, I've been on YouTube for five years, but the first time I came on, came on YouTube, I made 20 videos, took them all down, went away for a year. Then I tried again, put up a few videos, took them all down again, hid myself away. Third time, put up new videos, tried a new angle. It didn't work out, I didn't feel good about it, I got insecure and I took it all down. I've written thousands of blog posts and you can't read any of them because I took them all down and I got into this feeling of wanting to destroy my own work, to keep it away, to keep it apart from others, simply because of this biting insecurity. I've always had this biting insecurity. I've always had this issue of taking down things that I made and hiding them away because I fear that other people will destroy it or tarnish it or ruin it somehow. And it's happened, uh, and I worry that it would happen this time too, but it hasn't. And I've been here now for almost a year, and really that's cause for celebration. I really think that I've learned to embrace and to appreciate the comments and the things that you all tell me. I've really learned to accept and to take what you say to heart when you say it's good and when you say it's bad. 
I really learned not to hide my theories but to show them publicly, to have a good discussion about them so that we can improve them and work on them together. I have become better at accepting critique and criticism from others. And uh, it really was the case that while I was terrible at dealing with critique from other people, I was also extremely self-critical. Every single thing other people criticized me for, I had already thought of in my own head. I, w I almost grew frustrated because I could see so many flaws with everything I did. And when other people brought them up, it was like, yeah, I know. I knew that, I knew that, and I knew that, and I knew that as well. <laughs> but you tell me, I've already seen it and thought about it five million times. And... Uh, that was the spiral that I kept getting myself into as a creator. And I'm not sure if you other YouTubers out there have felt this too. That when other people criticize your work, that you've already imagined every single angle that your work can be critiqued from. Every single angle that your video can be uh, disliked for while you post it. Now as an INFJ... What I tend to do as a creator is I tend to really overdevelop my thinking and perceiving. I really put it, my thinking and perceiving way higher than it should be. And I have this key fear of influencing and pushing my own work forward. I put out videos, but I don't tell other people to appreciate it. I don't tell other people what's good about it. I don't tell other people why this video is important or why it matters or why this work that I'm doing matters. Because I guess to some extent I wish to be discovered for my own creation. I want other people to appreciate it because it's good, not because I said it was good. And at the same time, I see other people who haven't made squat, who start up this big program where they say this will give you success and fame and it will make you happy and it will make you look good and your skin will shine just because you got this new brand of coke. I see people who haven't produced squat, who are so proud of what they are selling and what they have. I see people who are marketing and who are telling other people, this is why you should like me. Point one, point two, point three. This is my new marketing campaign to sell more products. And I can't do that. I, I can't. It's not in me. I don't have it in me. I've studied rhetoric, but it's not in me. I'm not a salesman. I'm not good at selling my own work or at advertising it. And I don't want to really either. So that's okay by me. Uh, what I've realized lately is... While I shouldn't try to sell my own work, I don't think that's what I'm... I'm not ready to do that or to put, a, put that forward yet. What I should do is... I should actively use my influence for good. I should actually use my theories and my work to broadcast good creators out there, to support people I love, to help out channels out there that I appreciate, to drive support towards people who deserve it. And if there is any channel that I do think really deserves more recognition, it's talking with famous people. If you are into typology, if you're into learning about different cognitive functions and how they work and how you can use them, you should definitely go to talking with famous people's channel. I see so many good theories and thoughts come up there. It's really like this high mind, uh, this cluster of creativity and for creative expression. And I don't think necessarily everything said there is correct, but I think it's interesting and fascinating and really fun to watch too. If there's another channel I really, really like that I discovered lately, it's The Roar Within. I've started a collaboration with The Roar Within, and I really love his vibe, his energy, his calm nature, and how he speaks. He speaks in such a way that it's, it's just soothing. It just makes you feel at peace while you listen to it. And there is so much good content out there, and I want to use and actively... Be an influencer as well as a creator, but to be an influencer and uh, to be a supporter of good things that are happening in the world and good creative activities. 
I want to do what Joseph Gordon Lewitt did with hitrecord.com. I want to actually help creators. I want to support creators. I want to support you. I recently started an education for people who want to make YouTube videos. You can find it on my website and you can learn about how to make videos and how to get the fan base and how to get supporters and viewers. Because a lot of people create videos but don't know how to get their work discovered. And you actually have to tag your videos and you actually have to know how to title your videos and to make good thumbnails to, to get people to even notice what you do. That's all for today. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope to see you guys in the next one.